so we're here today to talk a little bit about uh, ergonomic setups in light of uh, COVID-19 and a lot of us being uh, at home and working from our home offices. Uh, we thought it would be a great time to give you a little bit of insight into some of the best ways to uh, have a great setup to make sure that there aren't any postural issues that arise uh, that can oftentimes cause uh, pain and stiffness to come up that might not happen right away but can um, add up over time. So today we're going to be sharing with you a few important tips to keep in mind as we go forward and continue to be uh, working from our home offices. All right, so we're looking at the home office setup of a worker and we want to just note a few things that could be a little bit more optimized. And so the first thing that we're going to talk about is uh, the angles of her wrists. So uh, you can see here that there's a bit of an angle to them uh, and this is because it, she's not quite lined up with her keyboard uh, and this can put a little bit more strain on the tendons of her uh, wrists and hands um, potentially also impacting her carpal tunnel and the second thing we want to look at is uh, her torso uh, so it being at this angle and the screen being at this angle there's a little bit of um, a mismatch between the two and causing a little bit of uh, required rotation for this worker which is definitely not something that we want to see over a long period of time at least uh, and the last thing we want to talk about is uh, the keyboard here and it being not quite centered as compared to her body them just being a little bit offset uh, can also create some suboptimal uh, alignment issues Okay, so now we're back with much better alignment. You can see here that her wrists are more straight. And so then as a result, there's going to be less strain on her tendons, joints, and the carpal tunnel. Also, her torso is now more parallel to the screen. So then as a result, there's going to be less strain on her neck as she tries to rotate in the previous case. Also the keyboard is more centered with her midline and so then as a result there's going to be less reaching for the keyboard as well as the mouse. Okay so here we're looking at the side view of a worker at home and we want to just point out a few things here. So uh, first thing that we can see really obviously is that her feet are uh, uh, barely touching the ground here and this is uh, because her chair is a little bit too high. So uh, ideally we want to set this to be a little lower so that her feet could be fully supported on the floor um, with her uh, thigh bones being parallel here so in this photo she's having to compensate by being up on her tiptoes which is definitely not optimal and we also want to make comment about uh, the use of the laptop here so you can see that in the photo she's having to strain and bring her uh, head way closer to peer down and see what's going on on the screen and this is resulting in uh, pretty significant here forward head posture looking down that way which over time uh, isn't great for the neck and shoulders as well as the back okay so now we're looking a little better here now we have the chair that is now sufficiently low enough allowing her thighs to be parallel to the ground and so as a result it will be less strain on her low back and her hips you can see that as a result her feet are flat on the ground and that allows that to occur. Also her head posture is much better so her head is stacked on top of her neck and so that's going to be a lot less strain onto the muscles of her neck as well as her nerves. And then you can also see that the uh, top of the screen here is just a little lower than her sight line and so as a result then that causes a little bit of a tilt down which is a little bit better for the neck. When you are working from home, especially if you work with a laptop, to make sure that you're not using your laptop on your lap, uh, not sitting on a couch, not lying in bed, but making sure that you're using a desk 
more or less at about elbow height when you're sitting down uh, and then having an attachable separate screen preferably if possible uh, so that your head and neck are in the right the correct position um, possible to also have a separate keyboard and mouse uh, and also another possibility is to have a bumper underneath your wrists, particularly if you, if you do have some wrist issues, things like carpal tunnel. Um, having a chair that you can actually adjust is also really important just to make sure that you can actually get your feet onto the ground while keeping your thighs leveled from the ground. Uh, if you can't reach the ground, then having a um, box or a couple of books that you can put underneath your feet can also really help. Uh, in addition to having the right equipment, it's also really important that you don't expect yourself to be working eight hours, nine hours uh, at a time when you are working continuously, but to give yourself short, frequent breaks, approximately every 20 minutes, just to give yourself a little bit of a break from staring at your screen, but then also to give yourself some stretches.